I think it's overrated. I think their new way is everything out of focus. Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I'm back with the final test in our Impact Driver series. And as you can see, this time we're looking at Bosch. And if you think these tools aren't looking absolutely pristine, that's because I've already had them out. I've already been using them out on site to do quite a bit of work with. And so I've learned quite a lot about them. Now, what we've got is we've got a brushed motor, we've got a brushless, which Bosch call an EC motor, and we've also got an impact driver wrench. This is what they sent us to test. They also, by the way, sent us a little 12 volt one, which is 105 Newton meters. This isn't what we're including in the test because we're doing 18 volt, but if you want something that's really compact, that's quite a nice little tool. And for a lot of screw driving jobs, 105 Newton meters will be plenty. But these are the bigger boys. Now, the thing that I really like about this wrench, you could think, okay, why are you including a wrench? We actually showed the Metabo wrench and the Metabo wrench had an adapter to take you from the half inch drive down to the little quarter inch hex, if you like. Now, with this one, you don't need an adapter because in the middle of that half inch drive is a little hex holder and if you put that in tighten it on it's locked in and that's a lovely little rubber mounted having said that i think that rubber may peel off but you can see that's very easy to get hold of very easy to use now obviously being a wrench it's got a lot more power in it so we expect that to do really well in the tests and the other ones are, are comparable with many of the other impact drivers we've tested. So we're gonna take these out, give them a run, and see what the difference is between these different uh, models. Now, I said that they were brushless motors. That's a brushless motor on there, brushless motor on there. They actually call it an EC motor. For some reason, Bosch don't like the word brushless. So they use, they use this word EC, which means brushless. Okay, so we've been out there, we've given these a run, and now I'm gonna tell you what I think. Um, they're not the most powerful impact drivers in the world, those two. This one, very powerful. What I like about this is the protection that they've got around here on the brushed motor. They've got a kind of a gauze, an anti-dust, anti-debris thing inside there, so that should help quite a lot. They've only got the one LED light on it, which is a little bit frugal. On this one, they've got the four lights, which is a lot, a lot better design as far as I'm concerned. But then again, you see that's the brushless motor. Now, what they don't have, interestingly, and I think they're almost unique in this, is they don't seem to have any speed controls. On the other machines, you've got settings for tech screws and settings for one, two, and three. On these machines, they rely solely on the trigger as the speed control. So you go from very slow, very precise, to full power and that's it that's all you get so rather than having to press and sequence through and find out what speed you just pick this machine up and you work with it for a lot of people that's going to be a refreshing change that's going to be going back to the old style of impact driver the first generation but if you're somebody who's moved on from that and you want something else then maybe these aren't for you so we're going to run these up against all the other impact drivers in our final test. Now, we've already said that there won't be a winner 
outright because they're different machines, but at least you will be able to see how these perform against other models of comparable size and power. So I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that interesting. Now don't forget the comments below are for you. Add your comments, whatever they are, good or bad, if we missed anything out. If you've got an observation, if you own one of these tools and you want to tell us about it, we'd love to hear from you because that's the real value of these tests, is getting your input as well to build up a better picture. So if you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber because that way we can grow the channel, that way we can do lots more impact driver tests, tool tests of all kinds, and also all the other things we do on SkillBuilder. And we'll keep you up to date if you subscribe.